Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video we are going to be touring this beautiful home here. Look at the two-tone color on the front and the texture in the dark gray. I love it. I love it. This is the Omaha. It's made by Hamilton Homes. It's out here in Sinclair Oconee Mobile Homes in Milledgeville, Georgia. All of their information is in the description box. They don't post prices, so if you have any questions or if you want to see the home or find it in your area, make sure that you utilize the information below, okay? All right, let's go see this home. Oh, really pretty. Let's see if I can leave the door open for light. Sorry for facing you to the wall. Oh, I love the two-tone colors in here. Really pretty. pretty. Love the flooring. So that's the door we came in. Here's your living room. Love the beams in the ceiling. Really pretty. Again, this is the Omaha and it's made by Hamilton Homes. You've got your dining room kitchen area here, really open. The beams are just in the living room. You got a ceiling fan in here. Nice space in the dining room for a table. Can probably seat six to eight people. Over here, big, huge, wide window. White cabinets in the kitchen. Love this huge, huge island. You could definitely put four bar stools or counter stools at that island. You've got your industrial sink in the island but what i love about it is it's space for you to prep and cook the kids could be doing their homework eating you could be entertaining guests everything here you've got your dishwasher in the island you've got lots of cabinet space very pretty really nice lots of counter space cabinet and counter space in this kitchen lots of pantry space over there open shelving as well love these really pretty tall cabinets really nice got a built-in microwave all the appliances are by Frigidaire You've got the back door here. You've got, <clears throat> I just lost my train of thought. What do you call this? Oh, I'll think about it when I leave. But you can hang raincoats, sit down, take your shoes off. You've got storage under there. Got open shelving at the top, really nice. You've got at this back door, you've got a coat closet right here at the back door. Really pretty. And then down this little hallway. And I'm going to close this door because that's the master. And we'll see that in a minute. But you've got a door that can lock to the master off the bedroom. This is open, it's not its own room. So when you walk in the bedroom, the kitchen is to the right and then straight ahead, you've got um, an area for your washer and dryer. Really nice. Oh, what do you call this area? I talk about it all the time. <laughs> But it's a little nook for like your to take off shoes, hang up your coat. Somebody put it in the comment section. What do you call this little nook area? I know what it is. I, I'm just 
My mind is blank right now. Really pretty though. So open and airy in the in the dining room, and I just noticed that you have dark your dark gray at the top and your white at the bottom. But then in the living room, the color's opposite. Isn't that neat? I love that. I love it, love it, love it. So let's go down this way first. First door on the right is the guest bedroom. You've got a really nice uh, sink area. You've got space on both sides. Lots of cabinets. The hardware matches the hardware in the kitchen. You've got like a medicine cabinet type area there and open shelving. Got a nice size uh, bed, a bathroom, guest bathroom for all the kids and for guests to share. Across from the guest bedroom, uh, excuse me, guest bathroom is the first guest bedroom. Let's go in so you can get a really good look. So this is the guest bedroom. Got your closet in there. Really nice. You have, do have seams in the bedrooms. Then you've got another guest bedroom over here. Now this room doesn't have, oh, they haven't laid the carpet yet. So I guess they wanted you to see what it would look like with or without carpet because this is a bedroom. It has a closet, has a walk-in closet in here. So this is a bedroom, but this room doesn't have carpet like the first one. So there are your options. You can get the bedrooms with the cloth, with the carpet or without, and you can see what they look like with or without carpet, which is really nice. I personally like carpet in the bedrooms, but it's, it's really up to the person purchasing. You've got a hall closet here. Very good. And then this is your third guest bedroom. All three of these guest bedrooms are a nice size. Really nice. And then you have a walk-in closet in here as well. Closet doesn't have carpet. So pretty. All right, so that's this side of the house, off the kitchen. Living room there. We're in the dining room. And there's your beautiful kitchen. Let's go take a look at the, at the master. Really nice. All right, so this is your master. Let's get by the window so we can see. It's your master. Here's your master closet. I would bring shelving along the sides because me and my husband could probably share this, but we need shelving along the sides. Really nice. If you ever wonder why I look at the floor is so you get a better idea of just how big the space is. So pretty. Here's the master bathroom. You've got this huge garden tub, frosted window, probably can't tell that's a frosted window 
You've got um, a built-in right there for decor and towels. You could give this area a really nice spa feel. Above the toilet, you've got another like medicine cabinet area with open shelving. You've got a closet there, small closet, but it's a closet. It's another storage area. You can hang, I would hang our robes and stuff like that in there and then put things up top like, I don't know, hair dryers and different stuff that we need to grab. You've got um, a shower with two bench areas in there. I call them footrests because my booty would be falling off of that. <laughs> but you have two in there. All right, and then there's your double sinks. You got a huge mirror, and then you've got a linen closet area right there. Lots of storage. You got three. Very good. I'll get over here so you can see. And again, this opens into the utility room so you can keep it locked, but you also can shoot your dirty clothes in here. You don't have to keep a hamper in this room. So there's the shower. That's a closet, toilet, got your garden tub, and there are your sinks. I've seen lots of homes online with this area, but never one in person. I love this. I love it. More space for more junk, right? <laughs> so this is a uh, Omaha by Hamilton Homes. It's a four bedroom, three bath, open space. Love it. Beams in the ceiling are optional. If you're interested in this home, make sure you look down in the description and contact any one of the associates that I have listed there. They'd be happy to answer any questions, give you the price, etc. All right. Thanks so much for watching the mobile home. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. Someday soon